There's not much worse than bombing a drive right down the middle of the fairway, having a chance to hit it close and thinning it out the back of the green. This video is not only going to show you what you need to change in your golf swing to stop hitting those thin iron shots, it's going to show you how you need to practice to make the swing change stick. So in station one, you're going to need an alignment rod. You're going to set it along the shaft and it's going to go halfway down the steel. You're going to take your normal seven iron setup and you're going to take two practice swings going left arm parallel to the ground and rotating through. The goal is to not have the alignment rod hit your side. So in order to do that, as you come down, the alignment rod points slightly to the right of the ball and then your body rotates through so this alignment rod isn't crashing into your side. For every rep, you take two practice swings and you hit one ball. Now on to station two. In this second station, you're gonna do a step out drill to help you move your center of mass in front of the ball and allow you to stop thinning it. So you take your normal seven iron setup, you then put your feet closer together. As you start the downswing, you step and move through. So again, you set up, normal seven iron position. You move your lead foot about halfway towards your trail foot. Go to the top of the backswing, step and hit. In this third station, we're gonna help you understand how to move through the ball. Take your seven iron, let it hang at your knees. You're gonna to rotate to the top of the backswing and as you come down, you're gonna feel like you're trying to pull the head of this club off and you're gonna rotate through. So imagine you're pulling this club apart. As a result of pulling it apart, your lower body is moving left, your upper body is rotating and you'll no longer be thinning it. These three drills can really help a golfer learn to stop thinning golf shots. But if you want to make the swing change stick, you have to practice in the appropriate way. So a beginner golfer will do five reps at station one, five reps at station two, five reps at station three, and then hit a shot to a target. An intermediate golfer will do three reps at station one, three reps at station two, three reps at station three, and then hit a shot to a target. And an advanced golfer will do a rep of station one and hit a shot to a target, a rep of station two, hit a shot to a target, and a rep of station three, and hit a shot to a target. Science has proven that just beating golf balls down the range will not change your golf swing. If you truly want to make swing changes stick, you need to add spacing, variability and challenge to your practice, just like Zach's shown you with practice golf circuits.